All right, guys, I'm going to bring you a different kind of video today. It's Tone Loke here. Um, I'm pretty pissed. I got a couple of things on my mind that I want to talk about. I'm going to tell you a little story about a company called CI Games and some of the scumbaggery I had to deal with last week and this weekend pertaining to a game called Sniper Ghost Warrior 3 and some of the bullshit they tried to pull on me to silence my critique of their game. So that's number one. And number two, or dose for my Spanish friends. The bigger issue here, derived from this small issue I was facing, which is the fact that it's easier to be a kiss-asser on YouTube than to be an honest critic and call it how it is. So I'm gonna go into those two things here and uh, I think you're gonna really enjoy this story, so let's get started. And by the way, yeah, you're probably gonna hear some background noise. I'm in my living room with my old microphone and this ghetto set up here because my, my new PC is having a little bit of issues. So sorry about that. Okay, so first, the juicy story. Okay, so I'm sitting on my ass last week wondering what I'm gonna do for this week for videos, right? And I get an email from CI Games and this company called Evolve PR, which is the PR firm that CI Games, who is the developer and the publisher, they hired to promote their game. They told me, here's a game. It's called Sniper Ghost Warrior 3. It's gonna be an amazing game. Here's all the cool features. This is what you should be looking out for. And maybe you should talk about this too, right? Which is a different subject, by the way. Sign this review embargo. You can review the game and put it out on April 24th, okay? I was approved for the game on April 21st. So I thought to myself, cool, I'll play the game over the weekend, have some fun, this is gonna be awesome. And then I'll put on my review April 24th at, uh, I think it was 3 p.m. Pacific. So Evolve PR gives me the game through Terminals, which is, if you're a YouTuber, you know that this website, it's a, just a website that you go and retrieve game codes from after you sign the NDA. Okay, so I boot up the game, downloaded it, got the patch, right, made sure I got the patch. I'm ready to roll, I got the full game, which also includes, uh, there was like a DLC pack and there was like some weapons packs too. So I got the whole nine yards, right? I got the whole kit and caboodle. I'm ready to roll, I sit down, I got my popcorn, I'm ready to go. So I'm in the game and I realize right away, this game is really painfully average and it's got a load of problems, frame rate issues, dipping below 30, crashes, bugs, awful textures, terrible draw distance and detail, and floating AK-47s if you saw my video. So I'm thinking to myself, I don't wanna really review this game, but I've already sunk you know, three, four, five hours into it. So let me just warn people about the game, right? Because it's coming out in a couple days. However, I can't release a review of the game. So I thought to myself, how could I warn people about the game? So I go onto YouTube and I, I look at what footage is available and I see that the prologue mission and the mission afterwards, which was the only thing I played, was already available for public viewing. So I thought to myself, well, okay, well, if it's already public, people, are, people can already see it, then I'll just go ahead and release my video and talk just about that experience. So I made the video, making sure only to show footage and talk about things that were already on YouTube, talked about by Let's Players and the actual company, CI Games. And then I woke up to a tweet by one of my followers. They said, hey, go to Steam and, and take a look at what they said about your video. So then I saw a thread by someone who just watched the video on YouTube and then posted it to the discussion forums for that game. And then there it was, the message from the developer. And it said, don't listen to this guy, he's playing the beta version, which was a complete lie. And then I go to my YouTube channel and I see that the developer has also commented on my YouTube channel under my pinned comment, and you can see it right here, saying the same thing. This is the beta, don't listen to this guy. Watch for the full game coming out on the 24th. Something to that extent. Complete fucking lie, right? Scumbags. Trying to make me look like a fucking idiot and to basically call me out on fraud, which was not the case at all. And then I get an email, right? I get an email from the PR company Evolve saying, hey, we saw your video, can you pause it or take it down? And I said to myself, well, I'm only showing footage and talking about public information and footage already available on YouTube, so I'm sorry, PR guy, I'm not gonna be able to do that. Uh, thankfully, he was a little bit more understanding than the developer was. So yeah, they tried to silence my critique by posting all over my videos and on Steam and on their forums that I was playing the beta version when in fact, as you can see right here, the email string from the company and the PR company and the terminal's information that I was playing, obviously, the full version of the game. Not to mention the fact that any beta footage you see of this game has a watermark on the bottom right of the screen that says beta. So how on earth could I be playing the beta without that watermark? 
Hmm, CI Games, you fucking scumbags. So then I send CI Games an email and I also respond to them under my YouTube comment section and say, hey, uh, please don't lie. I have the email string to prove that this is the, f the full game. And of course they didn't respond to my email and they didn't respond to my YouTube comment. Of course they didn't. So many of you guys that have been following me for, um, this channel has been operational for about nine months now. You guys know that I pretty much call it how it is, right? Uh, as this loud fucking motorcycle goes by my apartment. Sorry about that. I speak the truth and I don't give a shit about anything other than honesty, right? I want you guys to know exactly what is going on in the games that I cover. And I don't even really cover reviews, right? I don't do reviews because I feel like reviews are, are kind of poisonous, right? As a reviewer, as a reviewer, you have communication with the PR company and the publisher usually. It's very easy to fall into this trap where you say exactly what they want you to say. When publishers or PR companies send YouTubers games, they also send them recommended line items of what to say and what's featured in the game, right? Which is basically creating bias, right? You're telling me how to feel about your game. No, 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 you don't do that. You send me your game and you let me play it and decide with my own objectivity how I view your game. That's how it should be. So YouTubers are in this position where they're getting emails from companies. And by the way, I get emails all the time, even though I'm a pretty small channel, I get emails all the time due to probably my, my viewer counts on my, my videos being really high for my subscriber count, asking me to review their products, whether they're games, energy drinks, keyboards, mice, uh, online applications for surveys, uh, analytic platforms, uh, analytical platforms, all of this stuff. And this is my point for the video, okay? If you don't get anything out of the video but this, just, just take this in. When you watch a YouTuber on YouTube talk about a game or review a product, just know that it is in his best interest to be neutral. A common strategy for a YouTuber who is doing reviews is to basically talk about the story, the graphics, the sound, the gameplay, and then very gently, very gently say, well, here's some opportunities for the game, right? Here's some things they could work on. Uh, let's hope it gets patched out. You know, this is probably gonna be worked out in the future, but overall, a very good effort by the company, right? You hear that shit all the time, all the time, and I'm tired of it. I'm not gonna say any names, right? It's cause I don't do that. I don't talk behind people's backs, but you go on any major platform these days on YouTube, YouTube and you can kind of smell, you know, you smell, you smell the fishiness. You smell like something's going on here, right? They were either paid or they know it's in their best interest to remain neutral. It's in their best interest to remain neutral because they want to extend their future relationships with these publishers, right? I'm going to probably get blacklisted by CI Games, but I don't really give a shit, right? My, my channel is not built on reviews. My channel is built on unique content and discussions that I create with my own brain, right? That's kind of the concept behind my channel. So I don't give a shit if they blacklist me, but that's the point, right? It's in a reviewer's best interest to remain neutral so that they'll get games sent to them, right? They'll, they'll, wine, they'll get wine and dined, per se, wine and dined, and they'll get preferential treatment because make no mistake, a publisher handpicks who gets their games at what date, right? Many people don't know about it, but there's usually a tier structure that PR companies have, right? They're sent chunks of game codes and then they decide who to distribute those to. And they usually obviously distribute those to the, the more popular, the bigger YouTubers, the more um, neutral YouTubers that they know will give a good message about their game regardless of its quality. And then they get sent a smaller bunch of codes for the smaller guys like myself, 50,000 or so. And they usually have those codes come out about a week week after the big companies get their games, which is bullshit in itself because I have less time to play the game and I'm gonna have to rush this review to get in line with the embargo. So it's in the best interest of a YouTuber, like I said. So it's in the best interest of YouTubers to remain absolutely neutral, to get preferential treatment, to get priority in games. And if you really think about it, if I send you a game, right, and I'm a, I'm a publisher and, you, and you're the YouTuber, okay? And you know that I've got future games coming in the pipeline. And you think this game deserves a five. Why not just give it a seven and go lax on the review, right? You'll get better treatment from the publisher. You'll get more upvotes. You'll probably get more views and you'll get less hate in your comments. And this is the number one issue on YouTube right now, where it's in your best interest as a YouTuber to be a kiss -asser. I'll just say it. So why not just be neutral on YouTube? You'll get more thumbs up, you'll get less hate, and you'll get better treatment by publishers, developers, and PR companies. 
And this is the cornerstone problem. You go to your trusted YouTuber or the YouTuber who you think is, is, is being objective and you have the sneaking suspicion that something funky is going on. And that funkiness is him remaining neutral. He's riding the middle line because he knows it's in his best interest. And this leads me to kind of the last thing I want to talk about, which is what happens if you want to be an honest YouTuber? YouTubers like myself that kind of call things as it is, we get the worst treatment possible on YouTube. We get the fanboys coming into our YouTube channel, right? Just because we said one thing that they didn't want to hear, immediate downvote. Go hang yourself in the comment section. And the more downvotes you have, as we all know, on average, the lower you're going to be in search results. And you better believe that YouTubers have figured this system out. But I challenge you, YouTuber, I challenge you as a reviewer or any critic on YouTube, call it how it is. Let the chips fall where they may and just be honest because it's your duty as a YouTuber, as a critic, to deliver honest information that's not gonna skew the opinions of your viewers. So that's kind of what I wanted to say about the subject. Uh, there's a lot more to talk about. I just am kind of, I'm not mad at CI Games. I'm just depressed at the state of YouTube right now and how it's just so much easier to just throw in the towel and just go along with the parade basically and just be a kiss asser. I plan to go to PAX West this year and if you ever meet me in person, you'll I think you'll figure out very quickly that integrity to me and honesty and bluntness are very, very important to me. Um, and I know if you watch my YouTube videos, I, I would hope that that comes across, that gets portrayed in the information I'm throwing at you. I want to ask you guys one thing. Please share this video around with your friends on Reddit or Twitter or whatever the, whatever sources you guys use. I want the principle of this video to be shared, which is the fact that let's get real here on YouTube, right? Let's ignore the relationship between the press and the YouTuber. Let's ignore the sponsored bullshit, right? So let's ignore getting paid to share our opinions and having it bias the way we feel about the game. And let's, let's remove this cancer of when someone goes to watch a YouTube video, they're not sure if this guy's actually telling the truth, right? So so please share this video around. I would really appreciate it. And uh, you guys have an awesome day. I'm going to probably take off here and make another video for the channel in the next couple days or so. So uh, like I said, have a great day and we'll catch you later.